one of the things I really wanted to reiterate is the level of investment that each of the financial institutions have put into security features to protect you. So even if you were a bit careless, even if you didn't understand what you needed to do um, in terms of protecting yourself, even if you got that phishing email or what have you, there are a number of things that the financial institutions have invested in making sure we protect your, your money with us. So we're gonna spend lots of money on technology. Leanne alluded to it er earlier, where it looks at your pattern of spending and it determines whether or not this transaction is outside of its usual um, behavior pattern so we can flag it. It looks at odd, um, odd transactions from locations that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can raise that and flag that as a concern. So there are a number of different things when we're looking at the digital platforms that have already been embedded and have already been done to protect you, even if you have a level of ignorance as it relates to um, what, what do I do when working with digital platforms. So step out, even if you don't know everything, knowing that there's a measure of comfort that you can have, that the banks have spent thousands of thousands of dollars, literally, on an ongoing basis, as well as in terms of the upfront investment in protecting your investment, a your cash um, using the digital channels.